So Shannon, we've defined who we're talking to, right? We've created those personas, created the messaging. Uh, we've set smart goals, right? For our campaign. We're not just going to throw money on the internet, see if leads come in, right? Oof. We've, we've done that process, right? Yeah. Um, let's say I'm a business owner. I've done those two steps and I'm like, okay, I can make a hundred pieces of mm, mediocre content, or I could take this money and make a few really remarkable pieces. Mm -hmm. What direction should I think about going? I think it depends on where you are in your life cycle. So um, organic social media, and, and this is what we're referring to right now. And I don't recommend doing <laughs> very much in the way of paid advertising because it is Q4 and it's really expensive. So if you're just starting out, don't go there. But if you have and you already are there, then continue on and best of luck to you. Um, but, I, you know, honestly, you need to look at everything that you're getting back. So the follows, the likes, the engagement, all of those things as data points what is resonating with your audience. Um, and, and it's not, so there is, there's hard ROI, which is, you know, the, the things that actually turn into dollars. And then there is soft ROI, but don't discount the soft ROI because that is literally what leads up to. Um, and the biggest direction that I've seen for that is people who land on your website. So if you look at your analytics and you're getting somebody who's going directly to your website and you're like, well, it's gotta be, it's gotta be by, by default. It must be word of mouth. It must be a referral or it must be something else. It's not. It's like, if I, if I were to say, Hey, Chris, come over to my house and you'd be like, awesome, I'll be there. And, and then I didn't give you any kind of directions. I didn't give you an invite. I didn't tell you a time. That's, that's what you need. You need to leave breadcrumb trails. So if you're just starting out to answer the question more succinctly, uh, you need to be able to collect all of those data points so that you know what is good and what is resonating with, um, and, and what is, um, you need to A-B test it as well. So uh, I would say if you know what is good and you have a benchmark for what that is, then yes, make sure that you're producing just the quality ones that is speaking to your audience. But if you don't know, then you need to test.